It was great. I mean, we uh, we had amazing crews, amazing uh, uh, set designers, and people in every department. Uh, I cannot, you know, um, say things, uh, uh, say high enough, good enough things about the German crew cr uh, creating the ship, both interior and then we went to Malta, and we we built the whole exterior of the ship with you know with real wood and. Uh, <laughs> And it was just this, it was practically, you know, a real ship. Um, and it was just, uh, and in a way, you know, for any normal sized movie, it was an, an enormous endeavor um, to do that. Most of these seafaring movies cost much more than ours, you know. Yeah, and I, I always wanted the evolution. I wanted to follow the story of Dracula, but not show him. That's a really tricky prospect because you, you can't show what you need to t tell. <laughs> so, um, but we, we uh, in the end, he is a very old man who is in us uh, over 400 years old. And I really wanted to see that on him. I wanted to feel his age. I didn't want him to be sexy or, you know, a, a suave kind of version of Dracula at all. I wanted him to be somebody who's lived with this, in this horrific uh, lifestyle that obviously he does. Um, and, uh, and he's frail, he's really desperate for blood. When he loses his blood supply, um, he needs to just, uh, he's in a desperate situation until he's able to kill the first crew member. And I wanted to try to tell that story and how he then, as he gains power, he, he's then able to again uh, gain the power to create, recreate a demon within him, have, have it manifest. And that demon needed to be part bat, part demon, because the bat part of a vampire is really intriguing. And I wanted to make sure, and with the producer, uh, Brad Fisher, he also was a big part of this, creating this with the designers and everybody, um, where everything had to be biological, uh, like the, the way the, the arms are and the way you f the flip... Uh, the arm would turn into a, a whole extended um, wing and how the eyes would work and how, uh, how he flies and moves and lands and all that stuff. You know, we were studying bats and bats and bats. So, yeah, yeah it's incredible. I mean, I, I, he's absolutely amazing and he's such a, a, sport, a trooper on set. He knows what it takes to do these kind of difficult parts and it's so hard on him. And if you see the behind the scenes stuff or something, you know, see how, how what a uh, ter terrible situation he's constantly in physically to be able to do this. Um, and he, but he's so agile, he's so friendly, he's so, even in the most, uh, you know, in the middle of the night when it's all, you know, we've been there for hours and hours and he was there four hours before us because he was in a makeup chair getting ready. He's still, you know, uh, uh, there's still a smile on his face. He's still able to, to work with the character and the needs of the scene. I mean, I think that um, this is like Alien. It's just that it's on a ship in 1897 and the creature is Dracula and it's scary. It, it, that's, you know, it, we've been try I've been trying to make the scariest portrayal of Dracula in ages. That's been my goal. And uh, I just hope that the audience embraces that. Yeah.